Hey, it's Softbank Student here, and today I'm going to showcase how to create a Pascal triangle using some very simple Java. So I created a very simple program, let's just demonstrate, where you input the number of rows, and then we get a Pascal triangle, which is this pattern. And a few things interesting about this pattern, it's just very simply we have one on each side. And then on the first row, we go up by one, two, three, four. The next row is kind of like a cubic counting row. And as well, if you take any two numbers, the numbers in between them will be the sum of these two numbers. So one plus one, two, one plus two, three, three plus three, six, and so on. So how we do it, it's actually pretty simple. We just use this formula, which is called in choose K, where we just very simply take an input of N, the rows and the K element in the row, the index of the row, kind of, where we take factorial n divided by factorial k multiplied by n minus k factorial. And factorial is very simply where factorial any number will be this number added to itself that amount of time. So let's just say factorial 4 would be the same as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 which we first create a formula up here where we very simply just have our factorial factorial 1 and then for each number less than the number we put in just add it minus add it plus 1. So it's just demonstrate if we were trying to do factorial 4 we just do number 4 we we'll then start at 1 and then do it 4 times so you simply do 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 and there we go factorial 4. We need to just create this very simple script go factorial n multiply divided by factorial k multiplied by factorial n minus k factorial but the same as the n choose k formula we then just have a very simple program where we get some text and some number of rows we create user scanner to get some input from the user we then first print a pascal triangle we then for each row print first the amount of spaces based on how many rows we need at the end so let's say we would just need five rows. So for the first one, we need five. Get five spaces and a space for in front of the number. So we get six spaces. Then we get five, four, three, and two. Just to make it look like a triangle. And we didn't have the numbers, which just very simply is calculated by the row number and the row index. And next line. So that's pretty much the setup where we're able to input any number and get the amount of rows and indexes. But it looks a bit weird when we start getting um, multiple digits, take a bigger amount of space than just a single digit. And because I'm using an integer, we would not be able to create too many rows. As you can see, it kind of gets screwed up completely because an integer is not able to be large enough to get the numbers we would need in the rows further down. So that's pretty much my setup of our Pascal triangle in Java. And of course, there'll be a link in the description to the source code. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.